Hi, uh, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Just to discuss meloxicam versus ibuprofen, the difference and similarities between these two medications. First of all, they're both what are called NSAIDs, or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. All the NSAIDs are used to treat pain and inflammation. Uh, these two are specifically used for osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Ibuprofen also used for pain, fever, and headache. It is important to take both of these with food as uh, they both have a risk of stomach upset. So what's uh, the main differences between them? Meloxicam is taken less frequently, uh, like the higher dose 15 milligrams just once a day, sometimes a 7.5 given twice a day, whereas ibuprofen has to be taken three to four times a day. Meloxicam also is likely easier on the kidneys. This uh, becomes more important as we get older or as we have start to have some uh, kidney function reduction. Um, ibuprofen, again, the higher risk of the kidney problem. Meloxicam seems to be easier on the stomach versus other NSAIDs, as well as ibuprofen. There is still the risk there of bleeding ulcers and things like that, but compared to other medications in this family, they both seem to have a lower risk of causing bleeding ulcers and things like that. And meloxicam also seems to have a little bit lower risk of heart issues, uh, heart attack and stroke versus ibuprofen. The risk, again, still there for both of them. So with all the NSAIDs, we need to watch out for, as I mentioned, the stomach and intestinal irritation, bleeding, ulcers, that sort of thing. They all across the board can increase risk of heart attack and stroke. So you need to talk to your healthcare provider. They can put you on the one that has the lowest risk of those side effects. They can monitor for side effects and just continue to watch because if you have pain and inflammation, you need to be able to function in life. So you you're willing to take a little bit of a risk and if your healthcare provider is on top of it and you're watching things many times you can use these things for years without issue but it you, you just need to monitor them i do hope this video answered your question about the difference between ibuprofen and meloxicam i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel always talk to your doctor or pharmacist before using NSAIDs make sure that they're uh, right for you or don't put you at higher risk of um, other cardiac or stomach problems. And if you have questions for me, please stop by pharmacisttips.com slash ask.